What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be looking at how to set up the basic Wii remote settings on Dolphin and also adjust the sensitivity if you're having issues with that. So, all right, once you get Dolphin opened up, you're going to want to click the controller button here on the top bar. Make sure you have your standard controller selected and configured already. Go down to emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter. Make sure you have emulate Wii, Ro Wii remote selected, and then we'll hit configure. Now here's the buttons I like to use. I have button A mapped to A because it seems like it's jump in most games. It feels natural on the controller. Right trigger is B for me because it's kind of a action button, especially in Super Mario Galaxy. Shooting the star bits kind of seems like normal. And then so on, so forth, X, Y on two. Uh, and to do these two, you just go ahead and select them and then enter the corresponding input uh, for D-pad, you know, up, down, left, right, pretty standard. And then for the important part on the Wii control, make sure you have your extension selected over here as nunchuck and attach motion plus. And then we're going to configure that over here in motion simulator. And now, you know, since uh, PS4 Xbox controllers don't have that shake feature, you're going to want to map that out. I have it on my X or square button, if you will. That way you hit that, it'll simulate the shake button. And now the important one over here for your Wii motion control, uh, I have it all mapped to the right stick. That way I can move around with my left stick in game and then use the right stick to point. And uh, it's just easy enough. The corresponding directions with your stick, go ahead and select those like up, down, left, right. And then the important part here, if you're having sensitivity issues, is you're going to want to play around with the dead zone. I have mine on 10%, which I think is pretty good. And also, you're going to want to select relative input. Relative input will hold your cursor over to one side of the screen or not, so you're not having um, it sit in the middle, which can be rather annoying. We'll show you a little example here in Mario Galaxy real quick. All right, and then as you can see, when you open up the game, go ahead and you can right stick your cursor all the way around, and it won't stick in the middle with relative old, and the sensitivity is about perfect for me at the settings I have. You can run around, still hit things. Yep, controllers all work pretty good. Definitely happy with these settings. You will have to adjust tilt settings if you're playing a game like this with a separate profile. We can do a separate video on that another time. Anyway, I hope this was enough to help you get started on Dolphin with the basics, and we'll catch you around next time. Have a good one.